Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Zina speaking. Today we will be speaking about the five different types of immunoglobulins or also referred to as the antibodies. But before we continue, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below for more and more similar videos. So let's start now. Let's start defining what is an antibody. Uh, an antibody or immunoglobulin is a large Y-shaped protein, as you can see the picture down below, belonging to the immunoglobulin superfamily, which is used by our immune system to identify and neutralize foreigners or antigens, such as bacteria and viruses, including those that cause disease. Or in other words, the antibodies or immunoglobulins, these are the proteins that are produced by our body in order to protect us from getting uh, infections or diseases. We have five immunoglobulins or antibodies and we will speak about each one with the function. Here is a mnemonic in order to easily memorize the five immunoglobulins and the mnemonic was given according to the abundance. The word is GAME, the most abundant uh, immunoglobulin is IgG and the least abundant is IgD at the end. Immunoglobulin G is the most abundant antibody in serum or blood, and it can cross the placenta, or in other words, it's the only immunoglobulin that can cross the placenta. In addition to that, in order to remember this type of immunoglobulin, remember the word go inside. Go, the letter G, is uh, immunoglobulin G. And what do I mean by go inside? Meaning that it's the only one that can go inside the placenta or can cross the placenta. Next is immunoglobulin A is produced in the GI tract and airways. In order to remember it, remember airways, it has an A letter and A referred to as the IgA. If you remember the airways, you will remember the GI tract. So a deficiency of immunoglobulin A, it can result in infections that involve the airways together with the GI tract. Next is immunoglobulin M. It is produced immediately in response to new antigen. And by the way, it is produced even faster than the IgG. It cannot cross the placenta. Why is that? Because it is pentamer. Pentamer means it is composed of five large molecules. That's why it cannot cross the placenta because it is large size. The way to remember this type of immunoglobulin, remember the word immediate. Immediate production of IgM. The letter M stands for the immunoglobulin M. Next is immunoglobulin E. It is associated with allergic reaction and it is also called type 1 hypersensitivity reactions. And the way to remember the word allergic, the fourth letter is E and E referred to as the immunoglobulin E. So it is associated with any allergy that you have. The immunoglobulin E will be produced in such cases. Lastly is the immunoglobulin D that has an clear function. The only thing that you need to remember, it is co-expressed with IgM as a B cell receptor, meaning that it works with IgM. The way to remember this type of immunoglobulin, remember the word don't know. Don't know referred to as don't know the function of this type of immunoglobulin. So the first letter of the word is D and D stands for immunoglobulin D. Thank you all for watching my video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to press the like, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe for more and more videos. Goodbye now.